Hi there, I'm Tatum with Elevate Iowa Advanced Manufacturing, and today we're in Ankeny, Iowa. We're on location at AccuMold, who shared with me that they are the world leader in micromolding. I've heard we have some time with the leader of their organization, but first, here's something you may not know about AccuMold. Tatum, Roger Hargan. So it says right behind us, you're world leaders in micromold. Can you tell me about that? We shipped over 23 countries, the different type of devices, components you see here uh, around the globe. Uh, we're fulfilling the need as everything is are becoming more micro-miniaturized. So what's that bag over there, Legos? Well, not, not Legos. These are critical components uh, that we produce here. We ship uh, tens of millions of these around the world. And this is the critical component in a medical device in Europe that takes care of folks with uh, diabetes, that gives them uh, their, their ratings and their monitoring. So a lot of your employees come into their positions with limited training. As a company, how do you help them with on-the-job training? We, uh, we get them involved with uh, uh, experienced people in our business that are doing certain skill sets here. We also offer training at uh, Des Moines Area Community College with scholarships to get people in specific roles. But we're constantly doing different things to upskill people here at Acumol so they become more valuable and obviously their uh, compensation follows that. A lot of people would say manufacturing is a dirty job. What would you say to those people? Uh, the 1950s are gone. This is the new age of high-tech manufacturing. where It's required for our customers to be there. When they come in, they're astounded at how clean the facility is. Roger, thank you so much for your time. I'm excited to see your facility. I'm in the tool room here with Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi. So tell me, what is it you do here? So I am a mechanical automation engineer. Uh, my role is to design a lot of the automated systems that we use here to make everybody else's life easier by automating the uh, repetitive tasks. So when you started in this position, I don't think you probably knew how to use all of these machines. Yeah, absolutely not. I didn't know how to run most of these machines. Um, so most of it is on-the-job training. So a lot of people say that manufacturing is a dirty job. What would you say to those people? I'd say absolutely not. You know, a place like this, um, a lot of our parts are for electronics, me uh, me medical components, things like that. So we have clean room environments where all of our manufacturing is actually done. So there's almost no dust, no debris, no anything in those environments. So I'm here in another part of the tool room with Skylar. Hi, Skylar. Hi, how's it going? So what kind of skills did you need coming into this position? So uh, one thing that we really looked for was a two-year degree in either robotics or automation. And that's actually what I have is a two years degree at Iowa Lakes Community College in Northwest Iowa. What would you say is the coolest part of this job? I'd say the coolest part of my job is actually working with all the small parts. The uh, small parts a lot of times go into medical devices. And it's just, it's awesome knowing that the medical devices are either saving someone's life or helping somewhere. Rolling right along, I'm still here in the tool room with Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Hello. All right, so this looks like a pretty cool machine. Can you tell me what it does? Uh, yes, this is a tool scope, and we use it to get exact measurements. Did you think you would be doing this when you grew up? Uh, I remember I'd play with Legos growing up, and that's about as close as I got. So I understand you're part of the Acumel Scholars Program through DMAC. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Uh, yes, I was a tool room scholar, which is like our internship here at Acumold and they brought me on and paid for all of my tuition while I was at DMAC. Which it's not all just about paying tuition, it's also, I also got some valuable work experience because uh, I came here not knowing anything and they gave me an opportunity to learn. What would you say is the coolest part of your job? We work with a lot of high precision machinery around here and one of my favorite machines is the laser welder. Uh, you have your welding rod and it's about smaller than the diameter of your hair and so you have to weld under a microscope. I just think that's the coolest thing. Do you think you could weld my hair? Oh, we could try. <laughs> Thank you so much Jonathan. On to wardrobe. So now I'm here in the clean room with Brian. Hi Brian. Hello. So tell me, what is it that goes on here in the clean room? My job mainly consists of um, overseeing six different production rooms, over 70 employees, and we have to make sure that our parts, when they exit the facility and get to our customer, are the highest quality that we can possibly make. So being in HR, you see a lot of new employees come in. What kind of skills are you looking for in those new employees? 
Um, we don't require um, any manufacturing experience, so we're looking for people who are going to show up, be on time, um, willing to learn. We have a lot of different opportunities in here for growth, so as long as you're willing to learn, um, we're willing to teach you. Well, I gotta say, I'm totally impressed. Acumult sure lived up to its billings. The employees have a great place to work. Just another example of career opportunities in advanced manufacturing in Iowa. Tune in next time when we visit our next location. If you're interested in learning more about careers in advanced manufacturing, go to elevateiowa.com.